Hi there, welcome back to Hobbytronics. In this tutorial we are going to demonstrate the hot plate method of soldering small surface mount components. We are going to be soldering the FT232RL USB to serial chip from FTDI. This is a small outline 28 pin chip that is hard to solder with a soldering iron. We will be soldering it to a breakout board from SparkFun Electronics and using solder paste to do the soldering. The solder paste we are using comes in a handy syringe form, but you can just as easily use a small tub of paste and apply it with a sharp hobby knife. Apply the solder paste across all of the pins. Don't try to put the paste onto each individual pin, as when you put the chip on it will spread to adjacent pins anyway. Also, don't worry about putting too much paste on. As you will see later, it is easy to remove excess solder. OK, now place the chip onto the solder paste. Make sure it is the right way round and gently seat the chip into the paste. We won't place the board directly onto the hot plate for a number of reasons. Firstly, some hot plates have ridges and we need an even heat distribution. Secondly, it is not so easy to pick up a board from a hot hot plate. For our purposes here, we are going to use a small strip of steel. Make sure it is flat and doesn't bend easily. We want a good thermal contact with our board. Put the board onto the hot plate and turn the hot plate onto full. Depending on the hot plate, it may take up to three minutes for the solder paste to start melting. It is very obvious when it melts, as it will go from a dull grey colour to nice shiny silver. Surface tension will then start pulling the solder away from the adjacent pins. Leave it for a few more seconds to make sure all the paste has melted. Then, using oven gloves, remove the metal and board from the hot plate and allow to cool. You will probably be left with some solder bridges as we have here. Don't worry, these are easy to remove. We are going to remove the solder bridges using desoldering braid. The trick to using the braid is to apply some solder to it first. This allows the heat from the soldering iron to get through the braid onto the pins behind. It is helpful at this point if you can hold the board in some form of stand, otherwise you can need three hands. Start at the end of the row of pins, heat the braid up until you see the solder on the braid has melted. Then slowly drag the solder braid across the pins. Hopefully all the solder bridges will have been removed. If not, simply go over it again. 